ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Manuel Graphics tutorial. Today in this tutorial, we'll be learning how to make a basic Lightroom in Blender. We'll be using a simple uh, plane and using a three-point lighting technique. And here we've got Suzanne uh, showing off our wonderful Lightroom. So open up Blender and let's get started. We're going to first of all delete the default Cuban lamp and we're going to shift A and add a plane. Scale this plane to around the size of the grid, like so. Go into top view, edit mode, orthographic view, hit control tab and select the edge select and select this back edge here. Then go into the side view by hitting three and extrude it, extrude it on the Z axis, like so. We're then going to select this edge in between, like the intersection between two faces here. And we're going to hit W and bevel this. Bevel it around to this shape. And then we're going to subdivide it smoothly. Doesn't really matter how many cuts you add because we're going to hit the shading on smooth. And that is our basic room setup. Now, select your camera in zero on your on your numpad and uh, shift F and move your camera into position. I'm just going for a basic front view, like so. Now hit shift A and we're gonna add our Suzanne. And I'm just going to rotate this nicely. Just so she's So it's touching the plane. And I'm just going to rotate on the Z axis to show a bit of perspective, like so. And now that Suzanne is positioned, let's set up our lighting. Now we're going to be using planes for our lighting as we did last week. And pull out our plane, like so. And the three point lighting technique, we've got a backlight, a front light, and a side light. So I'm just going to be setting up the side light first, sorry, the uh, front light first. And we're going to do this by going to side view, rotating on the X axis, and hitting G to bring our plane up. We're then going to shift D to duplicate, click G to move it over, and we're going to rotate this on the X axis so the light is coming down like so. We're also going to bring this light up so the camera doesn't see it, and we're going to um, we're going to make it a bit smaller, not too small. Now for the uh, the side light, I'm going to shift D, duplicate our big one here, and I'm just going to rotate on the Z axis 180 degrees, so it's facing down, and that is our side light done. So now that all our lighting is done, I'm going to set a material for them. Make sure we're in the uh, Cycles render, and we're going to select an emission shader, and I like setting the strength to four, um, four, four, right around four, four, five, something like that. And for Suzanne, we're just going to give her a nice uh, orange. Actually, I might give her a lime green. There we go. Now let's go into the camera mode so we can see. Now give her a quick render, see how she comes out. Okay, now you can see an issue here. We're just going to scale up our backlight here, move it slightly across and up. The Also the front light needs to be more over, give it a bit of rotation. Click render. This is a far better outcome, but we still got a bit of darkness on our right side. I'm going to bring this down and scale it. Oh, I know the problem. It wasn't the setup. It's these don't have the light on them. And now I'll give it a render. Sorry for that. 
miserable mistake them. And now if this light is too big, so scale it down, scale it down, and lift these two up. There we go. Now we have a nice Lightroom setup. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Um, sorry for it being so short. Last week's tutorial was a bit longer, uh, but I thought this was a, a decent tutorial for the week. And uh, schoolwork is starting to hit hard as the term, we get into center of term. So there might be uh, a few more shorter tutorials on the way. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial again, and I shall see you in the next video.